what makes the difference between the successful, your successes and your failures as a coach? Um, a range of reasons. The single most important is persistence. Um, people will point to all kinds of virtues amongst athletes. This guy's the most courageous. This guy's the strongest. This guy, these are all virtues. But the one indispensable virtue is persistence. The ability just to stay in the game long enough to get the results you seek. But what does persistence really look like? If we can just break that apart a little bit. It's but actually, uh, this is a great question you're asking because most people see it as a kind of simplistic doggedness where you just show up every day. That's not it. The most important form of persistence is persistence of thinking, which looks to push you in increasingly efficient, more and more efficient methods of training. Um, famously, people talk about the idea that the hardest work of all is hard thinking, and they're absolutely right. Okay, coming into the gym and just doing the same thing for a decade isn't going to make you better. What's going to make you better is progressive training over time where you identify clear goals marked out in time increments, three months, six months, 12 months, five years, um, and build those short-term goals into a program of long-term goals, um, making sure that the training program changes over time so that as your skill level rises, the challenges you face in the gym become higher and higher. Don't kill them at the start with challenges that are too hard for them to deal with, they get discouraged and leave. Build them slowly over time, but make sure they don't just get left in a swamp where they're just doing the same thing they were doing three years ago and they get bored. And, and there's two ways you can leave in a gym. You can leave from adversity, it was too tough, or you can leave from boredom. Everyone talks about the first, no one talks about the second. Most people, when they get to black belt, they get bored. They know what their game is, they know what they're good at, they know what they're not good at. When they compete, they stick with what they're good at and they avoid what they're not good at. Yeah. And they get bored. They reach a plateau and that's it. My whole thing is to make sure it's not so tough at the start that they leave because of adversity and then for the rest of their career to make sure it's not boring so they leave because of boredom. Travis Stevens actually said something that changed the way I see training he said it as a side comment, but he said that at the end of a training, uh, at the end of a good training session, your mind should be exhausted, not your body. And um, I've, for most of my life, saw good training sessions where my body was exhausted. Mm. Yes, I, I believe that's the case with most people. Yeah. yeah, you should come out of the training session with your mind buzzing with ideas, like possibilities for tomorrow. And by the way, on that note, I would go further and say that the training session doesn't finish when your body stops moving. Mm -hmm. It finishes when your mind stops moving and your mind shouldn't stop moving. After that session, there should be analysis. What did I do well? What did I do badly? How could I do better with the things that I did well? 